Good morning, students! Welcome back to our TLE class. It's nice to know that you were able to finish Module 1 in Cookery. I am Teacher Melissa, Grade 7 TLE teacher, inviting you to join me as I discuss our second lesson in Cookery. Before we start, make sure that you are holding or reading your second module in TLE. Now, I am going to show you some pictures of a kitchen. I want you to inspect and describe the following pictures. Class, can you describe the first two pictures? How about the next pictures? Can you see the difference? Very good! The first pictures show me messy kitchen while the last pictures show a very clean and organized kitchen. Is cleanliness in the kitchen important in the preparation of food? Yes, of course! Maintaining cleanliness and practicing good kitchen habits will contribute to a safe working place for the preparation of our foods. Welcome to our second module in cookery. Maintain appropriate kitchen tools, equipment, and paraphernalia. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to first select the various types of chemicals for cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools, equipment, and paraphernalia. Second, follow the standard operational procedure in cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools, equipment, and work areas. And third, store safely the cleaning equipment in designated position and area. Cleaning is the act of removing any unwanted substances or the process of making any surface free from contamination by bacteria. The kitchen should be given particular attention on the cleanliness and safety to avoid food contact surfaces as they may become the source of foodborne illnesses. To avoid this, thorough cleaning can be done using a cleaning agent. Here are the categories of cleaning agent. Abrasive cleaners are rough particles that can wear off dirt, stains, and even hard water deposits. The cleaning and polishing action of these cleaners are provided with a variety of ingredients like pumice. This is available in both powder and liquid form. Scrubbing pads and steel wool are examples of abrasive tools. Baking soda is an ingredient in baking that has a cleaning property and a good example of an abrasive material. Be cautious when using abrasive cleaners because overusing this can leave scratch marks on some surfaces. Acid cleaners are cleaning agents that contain acid solutions that vary from very mild to very strong. Acetic acid is present in clear white vinegar and is considered a natural all-purpose cleaning agent that can remove hard water deposits, from glassware and rust stains from sinks. Be careful in using this as it can irritate the eyes and skin. Detergent is a chemical substance that is commonly used as a home and commercial cleaning agent. It contains surfactants that help remove the soil or dirt easily. It comes in liquid paste or powder. Degreasers are effective cleaning agents for removing burnt grease from the oven tops and other surfaces. These are also called solvent cleaners. To ensure safety after cleaning, the next step should be sanitizing the whole kitchen premises and food contact surfaces. Microorganisms may be removed by using water, and detergent but there's no assurance that it can be totally killed. Hence, there is an imperative need for undergoing sanitizing methods. Sanitizers are chemical substances that can kill disease-causing microorganisms. 
These include two methods, such as heat and the use of chemicals. Heat sanitizing method using steam. Steam is a source of heat which is used in some industries for sterilization purposes. When steaming, the temperature must be 170 degree Fahrenheit for 15 minutes or 200 degree Fahrenheit for about 5 minutes. Hot air can be done for about 20 minutes at 180 degree Fahrenheit. Hot water as a sanitizer is common among restaurants. The most common method of hot water sanitizing takes place in the final rinse cycle of dishwashing machines. Water temperature must be at least 180 degree Fahrenheit but not greater than 200 degree Fahrenheit. Sanitizing is also achieved through the use of chemical compounds capable of destroying disease-causing bacteria. Common sanitizers are chlorine, iodine, and quaternary ammonium. The effectiveness of these chemicals depends upon concentration, temperature, and immersion time. Concentrations below the required amount will result in a failure to sanitize while concentrations too high are considered toxic and poisonous. The water must be warm enough to increase the activity of the solution, but not so hot that it increases the evaporation of the sanitizer. Generally, temperatures between 75 degree Fahrenheit and 120 degree Fahrenheit allow sanitizers to work properly. At higher temperatures, Chlorine compounds may corrode some metal items. Also, at higher temperatures, chlorine and iodine compounds may leave the solutions. To destroy the microorganisms, immerse or soak the cleaned item based on the time given by the manufacturer. The table shows the approved chemical sanitizers for use in the restaurants for safety purposes. Take note of the concentration, immersion or contact time, advantage, and disadvantage of the following chemicals. The first chemical is chlorine. Second chemical is iodine. And the third chemical is quaternary ammonium compounds. When working at the kitchen, especially during food preparation, cleanliness is a must. It is, it is a standard operational procedure to work with clean hands to avoid any food contamination. Cooking utensils such as frying pans, knives and cutting boards and other food contact surfaces used during the food preparation and after cooking should be washed thoroughly. For maximum safety, sanitize all cleaned items and make sure that the manufacturer's instruction in using the sanitizer should be strictly followed. The first process is preparation. Collect all soiled or used kitchen items as soon as the cooking activity was done. Remove food crumbs and dispose properly. Cleaning process starts with the use of warm water and your trusted brand of detergent. In this process, all cleaned items will be treated with either heat or with the use of chemical sanitizers. Place the kitchen tools and equipment in a draining rack until they dry up. Make sure that the storage room for the kitchen paraphernalia is not only clean but sanitized as well. Proper storing and stocking of kitchen tools, utensils, and equipment. 
There are several storage methods for the knives. Whichever you choose, make sure that they are completely clean before storing them. Do not toss the knives with other utensil so as not to make the sharp edge dull. Sharpening regularly is a sure way in maintaining its effectiveness. Hanging pots and pans is a great way to save cabinet space while also keeping everyday items within reach. Avoid storing pots and pans on the floor as this may become a breeding place for vermin and rodents. For tableware or flatware, stack them in an upright position using separate containers for the spoons and forks. Even other small kitchen items can be stacked this way, making them easy access for any time use. The under rims of chinaware are unglazed and rough. Stack them up properly by placing a padding or putting piece of fine paper or a tissue in between them to avoid scratches on it. Have a container for your recipe ingredients in a dry, airtight jar to maintain the quality until the next use. It's a good idea to put glasses and on upside down to avoid moisture in which bacteria may thrive in. To avoid breakage, coffee mugs should have a separate area to store them. Create mug storage to showcase their unique designs instead of just keeping them in a closed cabinet. Stack the cutting board where air circulates freely. Clean and dry areas prevent the rapid multiplication of harmful bacteria. A clean and sanitized kitchen work area will prevent the spread of bacteria that may cause hazardous health conditions like salmonella infection and food poisoning. Vinegar contains acetic acid that can be used as a natural cleaning agent. Chlorine solutions are one of the best examples of commercial sanitizers. It is made from a very small amount of 1 teaspoon chlorine bleach to 1 quart or 4 cups of water. Place the mixture in a spray bottle and label it to inform the members of the family what it contains. The following can help promote safety kitchen workplace. The kitchen floors, cupboards, and all work surfaces must be kept clean and sanitized regularly. Sweep up crumbs and mop up spilled food quickly as this may encourage pests and bacteria may thrive. Clean the inside of cabinets. The sink and drains should be disinfected once a week using heat or chemical sanitizers. Dry all kitchen items before storing them. Return all kitchen equipment such as electric mixers and blenders to their designated storage space. Unplug and switch off any electrical kitchen equipment before cleaning. Use appliances according to instructional manual. Here are some examples of a well-maintained kitchen premises. Class, we are done with our discussion. Let me check if you truly understand our lesson. On a clean sheet of paper, I want you to write true if the statement is correct and write false if it is incorrect. Number 1. The sink and drains should be disinfected once a year. False. Because the sink and drains should be disinfected once a week. Number two, the kitchen floors, cupboards, and all work surfaces must be kept clean and sanitized regularly. True. 
Number three, a clean and sanitized kitchen work area will prevent the spread of bacteria. True. Number four, vinegar contains chlorine that can be used as a natural cleaning agent. False, because vinegar contains acetic acid. Number five, Return all kitchen equipment such as electric mixers, blender, to their designated storage space. True. Number 6. Cleaning can remove 100% of bacteria and microorganisms. False. Number 7. Quaternary ammonium compounds are compatible with all detergents. False. Number 8. Lower pH values than 7 are more acidic and higher values are more alkaline or basic. True. Number 9. Store condiments and other food ingredients together with chemical sanitizers. False. Number 10. Unplug and switch off any electrical kitchen equipment before cleaning. True. How many correct answers did you get? Congratulations! I hope you learned a lot today and you are all ready to answer all the activities in your TLE Module 2. Again, this is Teacher Melissa, Grade 7 TLE Teacher. See you next time!